Deep in the Grand Nozellian Mines lay a most unexpected discovery. Crystals of pure salt. Now in possession of knowledge that could alter the course of history in Norzelia, the members of House Walford gather at Whiteholm Castle to discuss their next move. Unexpected though it may be, the salt crystals are now ours. How shall we proceed? Carefully, for it has the potential to alter the balance of power across Norzelia. This is an opportunity to reshape the realm to our benefit. We must be strategic. It's a target on our backs is what it is. There'll be no peace for us so long as we hold them. Hyzant will set upon us with a fury we've never known if they hear of this. She's right. They will stop at nothing to defend their faith. Nor will Esfrost go quietly into the night. Then let us prepare for when word does spread, rather than fret over how long we can keep the secret. Whether we protect the salt as ours, or find another way to use it, we must act soon. What say you, Your Majesty? We find ourselves at a crossroads. Not just as a kingdom, but an entire realm. Our decision will touch every life in Norzelia. I too wish to act quickly. But I beg you all for a moment alone with my thoughts. Your caution is admirable, but ill-advised. Hesitation could cost us everything. That much is obvious. Yet I cannot race headlong into the unknown when so much depends upon us. Benedict, I find myself unmoored as well. I wish to hear from all present before we decide upon a course of action. As you wish, pray let it be swift. Serenoa, answer me this. Can I count on you to walk the path with me, whatever it may be? I was named Lord of House Woolfort long before I was inducted into the Saintly Seven. And I've been your friend even longer still. Say no more. Take the others to Castle Woolfort and await my word. Likewise, inform me of any movements from Hyzant. As you wish. Until we meet again. Glenbrook is ours once more. We could not have done this without you, Huet. I cannot thank you enough for all you've done in service of the Crown. I can take no credit. Twas all the efforts of Prince Roland and Lord Serenoa. And of course, your loyal subjects who have no doubt longed for your return. Have they indeed? Can you hear them, Huet? My beloved, loyal subjects speak. Show yourself, Cordelia! You traitor! Foul puppet of a princess! Damned witch! Lord Landroy's blood is on your hands! That bastard Roland was alive, why didn't he show his face sooner? Lord Landroy gave his life for the crown! And you repay him with treachery and cowardice? It seems they would just as soon have my head. And Roland's, for that matter. What in the name of... I'll disperse them at once. I cannot stop you. But you should know they speak truth.
Well, have you made up your mind? You ask as if I ever had a choice. How perceptive of you. Perhaps our little talk will not take so much time after all. I want you to declare to your people that the former kingdom of Glenbrook is now under Esfrosty rule. They must hear it from you if they are to accept this new reality. If, however, you refuse, well, who can say what will become of us? House Falks, loyal as they are to the crown, might erupt into open revolt. They are a fearsome lot, indeed. They would rain hellfire upon the castle. No doubt you can imagine what this would entail. <sighs> Had I refused to go through with the Archduke's plot, our kingdom would have been drowned in an ocean of blood. I understand your pain, Your Highness. I know how hard you fought to survive. It is clear that the people, however, do not. They only see a pawn, a puppet, a traitor. This pains me. I cannot deny their words, but I cannot allow this chasm between the people and the royal family to deepen any further. Tis a new error for Glenbrook. But our optimism must not blind us to the fissures beneath our feet. Else in time they will swallow us whole. I would heal these wounds properly, though I'm not sure I know how. Thank you for joining me in my training, Sir Flanagan. I've learned much from you. In truth, I'm grateful for any training at all. There are few of us hawk riders in Glenbrook. Then let me thank you in turn for a chance to shake the rust from my bones. Seems my mount was keen to face such a worthy opponent as well. Twould seem they are hawks of a feather. Speaking of which, Sir Flanagan, I understand your regiment of riders was the Duchy's finest. Yet you chose to leave your homeland behind. Why? I grew to see how powerless I was. I once believed the freedom Gustadoff espoused would bring prosperity to Esfrost. So I fought and fought and fought for the cause until my shield was stained blood red. Hence your title, yes. To think how many lives you must have saved. Do not mock me. I saved no one. Pride swelled my breast with every mention of that cursed title. But in a year's time, what did I return home to find? My poor wife, wasting away in solitude in the throes of an accursed plague. Your wife? Had word not reached you? She mentioned in letters that she felt unwell. But never did I expect it to be so grave. In a matter of days, she was gone. Every moment I spent protecting the people, she drew one step closer to death. And I left her to die. Her blood, too, stains my shield. Sir Flanagan, I... Forgive me, I did not mean to burden you with my woes. But you see now, my title is a curse. It is a tragedy, yes. But I cannot bring myself to believe you cursed. And you mustn't believe so either. That you would return to us hale and whole. Tis a much-needed fortune in these trying times. 
With luck, soon my return will not be the only cause for celebration. I am glad to see you unharmed, Huet. I would choose none but you to stand by Prince Roland's side in my absence. Thank you. However, I am afraid I have far to go before I can measure up to your legend. A legend that seems to have begun a new chapter, now that you have doffed that mask of yours. Forgive me for prying, but I must ask, why did you wear it for so long? Truth be told, I have not thought upon those reasons for some time. When I served Glenbrook as its Master of Swords, I did not wear it. You were Master of Swords? The Dawnspear? Indeed. My star was rising, and I was tasked with investigating a group of nobles who were dealing in stolen works of art. A simple assignment, or so I thought. I was yet young and unaware of the pettiness of those who consider themselves to be our betters. I apprehended several of the criminals, but one escaped. That was my grave mistake. In shadows, they harbored their grudges until they exacted their revenge. But the life they took was not mine. It was my love's, the woman to whom I had promised my future. What? I never knew. The villain was eventually brought to justice, but no sentence could bring back what had been stolen from me. Had I only been more thorough, and not been so naive, then she... she would still be. Sir Maxwell, there is no way you could have known. The blame falls not on you. Nay, my inexperience sowed the seeds, and I will reap their bitter fruit until the day I die. I swore I would never again allow someone I loved to come to harm. To ensure that, I had to discard who I was. I gave up my title as Master of Swords, hid my true face behind a mask. I spoke only with my spear. And you were reborn as Glenbrook's fiercest warrior, the Dawn Spear. Your feat surpassed the imagination of even the most silver-tongued of bards. <sighs> Forgive me. I still tend to get lost in the stories, even though you are standing here before me. No, I should thank you. There are few who would understand my struggles, but I believe you are one. House Wolfort has seen its share of misfortunes. That you all still walk with your heads held high is an inspiration to all. I was brought back from the brink of death to fight by your side to face the dangers ahead, undaunted and unhidden. I may owe fate for my return, but I shall fight tooth and nail before it takes aught from me again. At least, such are the things I tell myself in my quiet moments. I only pray the words can give me strength when it matters most. They will. No doubt you are stronger now than you have ever been. Thank you. I no longer need to hide in fear. I will not look away. All right, lads and lasses, lay down your arms. Let your bruises remind you of the lessons learned today. Ah, what fortuitous timing. I still owe you for the drinks from the other evening. I wondered if I might treat you tonight. Apologies, lass, but I've got places to be. Perhaps another time. He seemed troubled by something. Perhaps I'm overthinking it. Let us end our day's work here. It is early, is it not? Is something amiss? No, nothing at all. Just... My attention is required elsewhere for a time. Elsewhere? 
Curious. How many have you had? <laughs> Not enough. Just one for you, I take it. Yes. Went by in a flash. Can you believe it's been 30 years? The time has escaped us. The memory of that day, however, I doubt ever will. Thrice damned, can't move. Always thought I'd meet my end with a beautiful lass by my side. You have many days ahead of you yet, Eridor. We will see you returned home. Don't try to run, you curs! Leave me be. I'll just slow you down. It was my curse of pride that got us into this. Only I should suffer for it! We don't all need to die today! Run! Even in the face of death, you refuse to set aside your foolish pride. I followed you into this hell of my own will, and I will see you delivered from it. <clears throat> you fool! Charge! Come, come and die! Yeah! That would have been it for us, had Lord Simon not met their charge in time. Aye, and the only punishment for my pride were these aches that keep me awake at night. We hungered for glory all those years ago, without a care for how it would serve us later on. A couple of would-be heroes who couldn't be convinced they weren't invincible. Yet here we are, drinking, to celebrate the end of that war. I do not wish to reminisce upon the past. A toast that I may never again repeat the mistakes of my youth. Ah, uh, but before that... Yeah? You have served House Wolfwort well, Eridor. That said, I have a feeling we'll need your sturdy shield even more going forward. You need me to lead a charge? I'm your man. I'll leave anything fancier than that to you. For House Wolfort! For House Wolfort.
Who in their right mind sends an old man on a scouting mission? Oh, goddess, take me. I can't wait to retire. Of course, I can't very well do so until the war is over. What will you do once it is? I can't say I have any plans in particular. But there is one regret I'd like to remedy. I'd like to find my first love. I still dream of her. Even all these years later. Huh. She was the general of the Esfrosty forces during the siege of the Citadel of the Sands. The turning point of the Salt Iron War, that was. I never learned her name. We were enemies, yes, but it was clear from the battle we waged how much we admired one another. She caught a beautiful figure on the battlefield. Her every movement was majestic. More than anything, she was a fearsome warrior. Truly, there is none in the world like her. I wonder what might have been had we met in a tavern instead of his enemies. I see. I hope you can find her then. As do I. As do I. Well, looky here. <laughs> Easy mark. <laughs> Let's get them before they wise up. There. <gasps> he saw us? Well, we're too far away. Inhumanly possible. Monster! How did you sense those bandits from such a distance? Rats like that will never get the better of me. Until this war is over, I've only begun to fight. I can see you mean that. Ah, that's it. I know what I'm going to do when we're done fighting. I'll travel the land till I find the S. Frosty General who caught my eye. It's strange, but I sense her presence wherever I go. Might be she's closer than I think. If that's the case, I'd better do what I can to end this war, and fast. Time to work twice as hard for an early retirement. <laughs> However, will we carry on? Where's our house, Mama? Did the fire eat it? They're just like me. Picoletta. They lost everything. They're sad and hurting and don't know what to do. Sitting there all alone, I thought I'd never smile again. But that's when you and the others found me. You told me I threw my ball so well. Hearing that made me so happy. I felt warm inside again. I realized I wasn't alone in the world. And now it's my turn to do the same. Wow, look, Mama, she's amazing. What are you doing, miss? I'm juggling. Do you like it? It's incredible! I wish I could do that, too! Me, too! Well then, why don't I teach you? Picoletta is just like a troop leader. She brought joy to those children. She turned her sadness into a smile to cheer up others. That child can be a ray of light, warming the hearts of those bereft of hope.
Ah, Milo has sent a dispatch from Glenbrook. Deep within the Grand Roselian mines lies... Hmm. It would seem salt crystals were found within. Impossible! The discovery of salt outside the source explains Gustadolf's recent... provocations. How can you be so calm? The teachings tell us that salt is a blessing bestowed only upon the goddess's followers. The discovery of these salt crystals is an existential threat to Hyzant. Salt crystals are salt too. We need only keep word of this discovery from spreading. Of course. But how? The Hierophant has spoken. Minister Exham, you shall raise an army and seize the Grand Nozellian Mines in Hyzant's name. The Hierophant asks us to invade Glenbrook? Do you have another way to silence King Roland and his royal hounds in House Wolfort? Minister Serenoa is one of us, and thus is honor bound to heed the Hierophant's word. But we know not if he will do so, or if he will cast his lot with his precious king. You shall ask him yourself when you surround Castle Wolfort en route to the mine. And if he resists? You are free to deal with him, as we do with all who forsake the goddess. I am gladdened to see each and every one of you, my ironclad brothers in arms here at Twinsgate. I have asked you here to tell you of a most fortuitous discovery. We have found crystals of salt deep in the Grand Norselian mines. Alas, Glenbrook has taken those very mines from us. What's worse, Glenbrook's esteemed House Wolfort is led by one of the saintly seven of Hyzant. They will no doubt be informed of the salt crystals, and their precious religion will be shaken to its core. I trust you can all imagine how Hyzant will respond to such an affront. They will not go quietly, but will instead seek the crystals for themselves, that their reign of terror may continue unimpeded. Therefore, we must subdue Glenbrook and seize the mines for Esfrost if we are to counter this grave threat. But we cannot stop there, for that will only draw Hyzant to our gates. They will stop at nothing to conquer all of Norzelia in their name. The duchy has never been in a more precarious position, but we will not yield. We subscribe to no faith, and we bend the knee for no king. We shall greet our enemies at Twinsgate with cold, hard steel. Our newest weapon, the Death Snare, is nearly complete. With it, we shall strike back at Hyzan. The false goddess shall crumble beneath the sheer force of our iron will, and Hyzant reduced to rubble along with her. Raise your swords, my Black Iron heroes. Your names shall be cast in iron when the histories of this day are written. You shall be known as the defenders of Esfrost. For Esfrost! Oh, yes. The Death Snare will reduce many a falsehood to rubble, dear Gustadolf.
Have you heard the popular rumor, Lord Claris? That Hyzant intends to raise an army against Glenbrook? Yes, I am familiar. So it's reached the Consortium, then. Is it true? King Roland has only just re- Ordinarily, such a thing would be unthinkable. But the rumors are so persistent that I think something may be afoot. For example? I wouldn't be so restless if I had an example to give. Esfrost gathers its troops at Twinsgate. Might they have heard the rumors as well? Perhaps. A battle for the very soul of Norzelia may loom on the horizon. But therein lies the opportunity for merchants like us. You can't wage war without a surfeit of supplies. You're quite right about that. And each shift in Norzelia's power balance opens new business opportunities. Will the Consortium continue trading with Hyzant? Tis difficult to say. I believe House Wolfort's actions from here on will be key to the Consortium's decision. House Wolfort, you say? Indeed. They've been involved in most every conflict between the three nations on this continent. Why stop now? I shall wait and see how Lord Serenoa responds first, lest I make any hasty decisions. Hyzant has learned of the Salt Crystals. Minister Exham of the Saintly Seven wastes no time in mustering his army, which now marches on the Grand Norzelian Mines. Elsewhere, Gustadolf amasses his own forces at Twinsgate in anticipation of the war to come. All eyes are on Glenbrook, where Roland and Serenoa's pronouncement could touch off a battle for the soul of Norzelia. After much deliberation, Roland makes his way to Castle Wolffort to inform Serenoa of the decision that now weighs heavy on his heart. I appreciate you coming all this way, Roland. I was the one who asked for your time, so it is only natural I make the journey. I wish to tell you that I finally made up my mind. And I would hear your decision if you were willing to share it with me. I've long pondered over the one thing that Norzelia needs most. I thought back on the Salt Iron War. Thirty years have passed, yet the root of our conflict remains the same. Each nation still thinks only of itself, wishing to fill its coffers even at the expense of others. But who bears the brunt of such a war? The people. Exactly so. The avarice of the ruler is an existential threat to their loyal subjects. And yet without that wealth, the people suffer just as much. They languish in poverty. This much is obvious. But there can be no winner without a loser. Remove one, and you necessarily remove the other. If we achieve equality, we achieve peace. And how do you propose we achieve... No. No, surely you don't mean... Yes. The Goddess's teachings. All can live as equals under the Goddess. An authority greater than any king. The model nation was in front of us all along, Sarah Noah. The holy state of Hyzant. I have decided that we must give the Salt Crystals and the Grand Norzelian Mines to Hyzant. And in so doing, you'll give them control of all Norzelia. Exactly. There will be no more squabbling over salt. Norzelia will know eternal peace at last. Unequal peace, surely. One built on the backs of a people like the Roselle, if not the Roselle themselves. I am not blind to that fact. But so few will suffer for the good of so many. Nothing in this world is perfect, Saranoa. The sacrifice of the few for the good of the many. It's the only clear answer, and one I would give every time I were asked. Submitting to the goddess will rob you of your kingship. So be it. My crown. My pride. 
There are but small prices to pay for peace. You are truly prepared to throw it all away. Join me, Saranoa. Let us unite Norzelia under the Holy State. Roland, this is quite sudden. I understand. Pray, take all the time you need. I expect Frederica will want nothing to do with this plan, seeing as it forsakes her people. I am already mourning the rift this may cause between you, but I shall not be swayed. This will be my final act as Glenbrook's king. King Roland's anguish plays plainly across his face. It pains me to see him so tortured. I am not surprised. The future of our kingdom, to say nothing of the entire continent, rests upon his shoulders. Pray tell, what do you intend to do about the salt crystals? In truth, I cannot decide. Salt is too precious to be hoarded. We have a duty to share it with the people, which is... Where the difficulty lies, yes. The source makes that all too clear. Salt lies at the heart of every war in Norzelia. <sighs> Would that the boundless salted sea of Roselin legend still existed. We'd have no need of conflict if there were a source of salt for all. My love, if I may, the discovery of the salt crystals has made two things plain to me. The first is that my mother spoke true in the legend she passed on to me. And the other is that the goddess's teachings are nothing more than a lie built to constrain your people. Just so. We are guilty of nothing. Yet the Roselle languish in the source where they are looked down upon and forced to work until they die. Entire generations lost. Countless lives given to Hyzant's cruelty. Cruelty created to justify Hyzant's own avarice and lust for power. Such is the ugly lie at the heart of their teachings. One revealed by a crystal of the mineral they hold so dear. The time has come, Saranoa. The Roselle must be freed. The salt crystals have brought us to the brink of war. We can harness this unrest, incite the Roselle to rise up and rebel against their captors. I am with you. Believe me, I am. But you make it sound so... Simple. Yes, I know. But the suffering of my people is so distant for everyone else. We can no longer wait for someone to do the right thing. Help isn't coming. Why else would my own mother incite rebellion? We are alone. I swear to you, none of this feels distant to me. The Roselle live in my domain. I am betrothed to you, my dear. It couldn't feel any closer. And I thank the stars that I have you by my side. I do. In truth, that's why I think this time will be different. Why I'll be able to accomplish what my mother could not. Hmm. I agree. But the risk is immense. Suppose we succeed, what then? Aizant will not let us go quietly. Of course not. And when that time comes, you can lead the Roselle to Centralia. Just as your mother wrote about in the book she left behind, beyond the Great Falls in the Falk's Domain at the end of the Norzelia River, the ancestral home of the Roselle. But that's... that's just a legend. We've already found one legend to be rooted in truth. Perhaps this one is as well. And if not, at least you'll be safe from harm. <laughs> I doubt Benedict will share our feelings, though. Abandoning all we've built to embark on a journey fraught with danger in search of a legend. Yet no matter how perilous the path ahead, I would happily walk it at your side. I trust you understand what a monumental effect the discovery of these salt crystals will have on Norzelia's history. Whatever course of action we choose will determine whether House Wolfort leaves a legacy in that history or is expunged from it. 
How would you proceed, Benedict? I would do all I could to keep it from falling into Hyzant's hands. They already control the source. With the crystals in hand, they will solidify their grip on the realm and in time dominate it. The siren song of a false equality under their goddess shall blanket the land, claiming every domain and its people. Even though they count me among the saintly seven? Even then, for that matters little when the equality they espouse is dictated by the goddess, or should I say, the Hierophant. In the end, they will have the same life and death control over all Norzelia that they now hold over the Roselle. And our wounds from the battle with Esfrost have only begun. Hyzant will destroy us if we wage war against them in our current state. But they stand little chance against us if we ally with Esfrost. Ally with Esf... Are you of sound mind, Benedict? Quite. Think about it for a moment. Esfrost wants nothing more than to loosen Hyzant's grip. They will go to war if it means control of the salt crystals. Our interests are broadly aligned, yes, but... Esfrost has been building toward precisely that purpose for some time now. You speak of the Desnel, the weapon that Cordelia mentioned. Precisely. A weapon capable of reducing the goddess's shield to rubble, leaving Hyzant's capital ripe for the taking. Without that weapon, we cannot win. You need only say the word, and I shall convince Esfrost to join our side. I appreciate your candor, Benedict, and I do not doubt you could secure Esfrost's cooperation. But I fear the harder fight is within our own domain. King Roland's heart will not be easily won. I bid you listen closely and calmly to what I'm about to ask. From whence this somber tone? Do you believe King Roland is fit to rule? What are you implying? Decorum is of little use when the fate of our realm is at stake, Lord Saranoa. Are you content to spend the rest of your life in servitude to another? Not another word, Benedict. Roland is more than my king. He is my friend. And you are Lord of House Wolfort, whose military prowess is known to all Norzelia, not the guard dog of Glenbrook and Hyzant. What else are you here to do, if not to protect your house and keep its banner aloft? <sighs> But you have the potential for so much more. All Norzelia could be yours if you but desired it. Treason, if not outright regicide. These are your suggestions. Of course not. The blood in your veins and the royal family's ring are claim enough to the throne. There is no need for violence. I told you not to speak of that again. But you did not tell me to forget. The time to reckon with your lineage draws near. You must make a... I've heard enough. Leave me. Just know that I will do anything you ask of me, Lord Saranoa. I pray that you make the right choice. Not only for House Wolfort, but for yourself.
It was worth every effort. Thank you. 
you are certain Hyzan's army marches for the Grand Norzelian mines? There is no doubt. They've heard word of the crystals. It was only a matter of time. We knew this. Esfrost's army gathers at Twinsgate as well. War's breaking out over this thing, and we've got to be ready. How will Glenbrook respond, King Roland? There's no need to prepare for war. I have decided that we will surrender the salt crystals to the holy state of Hyzant. What? Furthermore, I hereby declare that the kingdom of Glenbrook and its people shall submit to the goddess and her teachings. There is no way to bring happiness to all Norzelia with the salt crystals. Which is why I have chosen a path that will allow the greatest number of people to live in equality and harmony. How could you? Do you not see that Hyzant's dominion over Norzelia's salt is why we are in conflict already? Is the suffering of the Rizal not proof enough that the goddess's vaunted equality is a lie? She speaks the truth, my king. Handing over the salt crystals is tantamount to giving Hyzant's goddess free reign of Norzelia. Will you so readily surrender the realm to the Hierophant? I acknowledge the abdication of my kingdom and kingship alike. A small price to pay in my eyes. In exchange for the security and prosperity of the many. And the sacrifice of the Roselle. Is that a small price to you? It is. How could you say such a thing to my face? I for one oppose. I would prefer to ally with Esfrost and strike back at Hyzant. The salt deposits within the mines give us the leverage we need to convince Gustadolf to join us. Ally with Esfrost? You dare suggest we ally with the man who murdered my father? I see no reason why we should not. You proposed abdicating the throne for the sake of the kingdom and its people, so you should have no trouble putting aside your own feelings and judging this matter dispassionately. I cannot believe my own ears. I will not have you lecture me on feelings when it is not your father he murdered. None of you can see beyond your own grievances. It's no wonder my people have suffered for generations. We're told to believe in the goddess, while our own lives are thrown away to make a few more grains of your precious salt. And now, even with proof that the goddess is a lie, you would watch us dig our own graves for your comfort. Lady Frederica, please. We shall speak of the Roselle in due time. No, I've heard that before. Your due time is never, and I will not have you cast us aside for another three decades or more. All else is in disarray. If Hyzant seizes the Salt Crystals, we forfeit the best opportunity in decades to free my people. We know the truth. We must act upon it. We must be a light in the darkness. We cannot afford to dilute our forces when the enemy marches on us as we speak. So we are a distraction to you? I am merely being rational. Liberating the Roselle would be extremely dangerous. We cannot take such a risk. Suppose we succeed. How do you propose we fend off the fury Hyzant will rain down upon us? Esfrost would pounce on us, sensing weakness at the undue burden we've taken upon ourselves. Precisely. We would be without allies and ripe for the taking. There is another way. And what, pray tell, would that be? We set out alongside the Roselle in search of Centralia. Centralia is a myth. The legends of my people are true. I care not one whit if they are. I will hear no talk of forsaking the Wolfort domain. Silence! I have heard enough to know where each of you stand. Do you all hold the courage of your own convictions? I do. Nothing I've heard here has swayed me. I feel the same. Very well. But know that a choice must be made. There can only be one way forward. Face the scales of conviction and prepare to make peace with the outcome.
What do you need? Well... I don't think so. What do you need? However, But... Furthermore... Hi, lad. Here's what I think. And so... Lord Saranoa. However... Perhaps. Then? It is time to cast our votes. The opinions before us are many. Roland's, Frederica's, Benedict's. Which to choose? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready.
You aren't wrong, but... You have my vote. I have faith in you. I'm with you. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. Frederica's dream is worth realizing. We will free the Roselle from the source. A tumultuous meeting exposes a yawning chasm between Roland, Frederica, and Benedict's visions for the future. Yet only one will emerge victorious, for such is the custom of House Wolford. As ever, the scales of conviction have the final word. The time has come for judgments to be rendered and leaders to steel themselves for the outcome. We've chosen our path. We are to free the Roselle being held in Hyzant's source. You have chosen the one path I cannot take. I understand your disappointment, Benedict, but the scales have spoken. And so I ask for your wisdom. Help us find a way to free the Roselle. Hyzant will destroy everything you hold dear if you attempt to free them. That way lies ruin. Your choice is to turn your back on this house, to cast aside your land and the people who have built their lives upon it. I will not, I cannot endorse such betrayal. <sighs> I agree that we will be ill-prepared to defend the Domain this way. Should that come to pass, I am prepared to flee with the Roselle and search for Centralia. They say it is home to a boundless salted sea. Surely a land where none need fight for salt is a land worth seeking. This is an opportunity, Benedict. We could find a new home instead of fighting the wars of old yet again. Why not channel that resolve to lead the people of Norzelia as their king? You hold the power and the might. You lack only the will. With the salt crystals in hand, you shall ascend the throne. I shall see to it that you are coronated. Then we can liberate the Roselle, or whatever else your heart desires. Liberate the Roselle, or whatever else? I never dreamed I would hear such callous words fall from your lips. I stand by them. I care only that you and the legacy of House Wolford are safe and secure. I shall offer my counsel by force, if needed. You don't mean to fight the lad. Stand down, Benedict. No, Anna. This is a challenge that I must accept.
I beg you to reconsider. If you mean to proceed with this folly, then you will do so over my dead body. You can do so much more, Lord Serenoa. The salt crystals give you the upper hand. Esfrost and Hyzant would bend the knee to you. You could unite all Norzelia under your rule. You were right about me, Benedict. I lack the will. I have no desire to rule Norzelia. I wish to see an oppressed people set free and nothing more. At what cost? Would you see your loyal subjects conquered by another nation? I would forfeit my lordship. The people of Wolfort will endure without me. The Roselle have no such champion for their cause. We are the only ones who can set them free. Give me the order and I shall reduce Hyzant to rubble. Then they shall be free. The ensuing battle will only breed further resentment or worse. Displace others who will be treated like the Roselle. War cannot solve every problem and our liberation of the Roselle shall prove as much. So, you now take blind counsel from your betrothed to think that an arranged marriage will lead to this folly. Enough! I came to this conclusion of my own free will. I have seen the challenges that face Norzelia, and this is how I choose to respond. You are every inch Lady Destra's child. Your compassion steers you headlong into every conflict. Alas, compassion is easily trampled. It can only exist so long as it has an army at its back. My patience grows thin, Lord Serenoa. The salt crystals give you the power to bring peace to Norzelia. You're wrong. It is little more than the catalyst for another protracted war. A war we can win. Let me lead you to victory. There is always a war to be won. Do you not see the cycle at work? I will break that cycle and use my power to liberate the oppressed. You talk of fleeing from your duty, of pure fantasy. We need you, Benedict. Why can you not put our differences aside? This is absurd. You race toward your own destruction, and I will not be party to it. Lord Simon entrusted me with the future of this house. And I swore an oath to Lady Destra that I would protect you no matter what the cost. You are shackled to the past, Benedict. I would call it loyalty. And it has come to this. For the sake of our future, I must strike you down. Prepare yourself. You came, uh, you missed. Uh, uh, here. Uh, you came, uh, you missed. Uh, 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 I yield. Grant me the mercy of a swift death. No. Neither father nor mother would stand for the killing of a loyal retainer. <sighs> the rest of us shall make our way to Hyzant in secret. You will remain here. Lead the people out of the Wolfort Domain before the Hyzantian army assaults this castle, and keep them safe. These are your orders, in exchange for sparing my life? These are not orders, and there is no exchange to be made.
This is the last thing I will ever ask of you as my steward and loyal friend of House Wolfort. And so, you follow in the footsteps of Lord Simone and Lady Destra. Leaving me behind with the most arduous tasks. I shall rise to the occasion, my lord. I shall do whatever is required to see that the Wolfort name and its people survive. Should House Wolfort lose its lord, I shall lead the house forward in your stead. I have no doubt you will. Benedict. <sighs> Mule-headed fool. We've each made our choices. Now we must walk the path we believe is right. Yes. King Roland, this decision means casting Glenbrook aside. I know I cannot ask you to come with me, but will you agree to see to the salt crystals? No. I am sorry, my friend, but I am not worthy to oversee such an important task. Of course you are. You have always striven to be fair and just. You hold me much too high in regard. Our conversation earlier made me realize the truth. My faith was misguided, as were my actions. I believed exacting vengeance upon Esfrost would be proof enough I was Glenbrook's rightful king. But I gave no thought to the bloody cost of revenge. This kingdom and its subjects should not have to suffer such a selfish fool upon the throne. Then... you will come with me? I shall. Not as your king, but as your friend. If I can help those in need, that is enough. Glenbrook has the geographical advantage, and the salt crystals. And there are a small handful of trustworthy nobles remaining. I'm certain they will ensure the people thrive, even without a king. Glenbrook is in too powerful a position for foreign powers to interfere. Roland. You know you aren't leaving me behind. I've come this far by your side. I'm not abandoning you now. You have my thanks, Huet. Frederica, don't you think you ought to make your convictions clear to your companions? Well, it's common knowledge by now that I am an Esfrosti of Rosellen descent. I was a lonely child who hated that her hair was a different color from everyone else. But then I joined House Wolfort. I met Jerome and witnessed the cruelty that my fellow Roselle suffered at the source. And I learned how brave my mother was, how long and hard she fought for her people's freedom. Compared to the horrors they went through, I have lived a life of privilege and comfort. I am proud to be a Rosellen, and proud to be a Wolford. I wish to be strong, strong like my Lady Mother before me. And I wish to see her dream of freeing our people fulfilled. I understand the difficulties that lie ahead, but hope that I might have you all with me. We will always be there beside you, Frederica. My lord, Isant's army has sent a message ahead of their forces. It says, the Grand Norzalian Mines must be conferred to the Goddess as a divine offering. An offering? Sounds more like an ultimatum. Precisely. If we refuse to relinquish the Mines, they'll put the Wolford Domain to the sword. Then we've no time to waste. We must make ready to leave at once. Benedict, 
I leave the rest in your hands, Anna. All these years I have watched you. I may not be able to replace you, but I will do my best. Loath as I am to burden you with such responsibility, that is heartening. This ain't the Benedict I know. Come on, where's your usual glower? <laughs> you never change. Huh, I should hope not. Defending House Wolfort calls for consistency, and defend Wolfort I shall, even in your absence. I shall hold you to it, both of you. I'm telling you, we've got it under control. Your voice hasn't gotten any quieter. Sorry. Parting ways with a friend always gets me worked up. Thank you for seeing me off, you two. Farewell. What of the Hyzantian forces? They haven't entered the Domain yet. If we act now, we could sneak around them and reach the capital. Focused as they are on seizing the Salt Crystal deposits, I'd wager their domestic defenses are at a minimum. If we can get into the capital and have the Roselle and the Source take up arms, we should stand a fair chance of helping them escape. But Hyzant is wary of Serenor for keeping the Salt Crystals from them, despite his position as one of the Saintly Seven. They may be short-handed, but if they spot him, we'll never make it inside. We can use the Consortium cart to slip unnoticed into the capital. The wagon from Claris? Are you sure we can trust the Consortium? Yes. If only because this benefits both us and him. In exchange, I told him what secrets we learned of Esrost and Heisen. You mean you told them of Dragan's murder and the illicit salt trade? I hope he understands those secrets must never leave his lips. He understands. Once people learn of the Salt Crystals, Roselia will change, and the Consortium will have a new role to serve. Now that they know, they will be better prepared to negotiate their position. They agreed to help us as a show of gratitude. You've thought this through. Well done, Anna. What of our things, Gila? Stored safely within the card, of course. Things? The explosives we found in the tunnel. After we've gotten the Roselle to rise up, we'll set sail from the harbor and make for the folks' domain, to the Great Vaults. To make sure no one follows us, we'll blow up all the other ships in the harbor as we leave. Frederica and I devised the plan ourselves. <laughs> a perfect way to make an escape with so many people. Wise of you to make for the folks' domain. It's distant enough. You'll have plenty of time to hide. Aye, about as far south as you can get. No better place, if your end goal is Centralia, too. It's a good plan. We shall do what we can to make sure it succeeds. <laughs> Crafty as ever, you Wolforts. I am glad to be on your side. But one problem remains. How do we get the Roselle and the Source to turn against their captors? If we can't win their trust, all this is for naught. We need some way of persuading them. And quickly, too. Let me worry about that. I can find the words to convince them. I am my mother's daughter after all. All right. I know you'll figure something out, Frederica. There is one more thing. Huet, I'll need to send a bird. Of course, my lady. Where to? The Rosellen village. I'd like to tell Jerome and the others of our plan. I would have them meet us at the Great Falls. Agreeing to such a thing means they will have to give up the lives they enjoy now. Do you think they will come? I cannot say. Regardless, I owe it to them to let them know Hyzant is invading. Indeed. Let us send word and see what they have to say. Upon learning of the Salt Crystal deposits, Hyzant quickly musters her forces. They march upon the Wolfort Domain, intent on seizing control of the mine. Serenoa decides to take this as an opportunity to free the Roselle enslaved at the Source. But that decision leads to Benedict's departure from House Wolfort. Still grappling with grief over parting ways with their friend, Serenoa and the others make for the Hyzantian capital. There, amidst a land in turmoil, 
they hope to help the Roselle rise up against their oppressors. Archduke Gustadov, we've received word from Wolfort. XM's forces have crossed into their domain. So they know of the soap crystals. Then battle is inevitable. But how will House Wolf respond? I should think it obvious they will attack us. Their lord is one of the saintly seven, after all. I am unconvinced of that. Perhaps they will offer us salt crystals to secure our alliance. To what end? History is changing around us as we speak. If Wolford wishes to guide the shape our future takes, he will need all the help he can get. He can choose to submit to Hyzant's tyranny, or work with us to bring freedom to our land. Or, he might choose to take advantage of the chaos. Will you follow in Lady Orlea's footsteps, Frederica? Huh. Somehow I doubt it. Your pardon, Archduke. It's nothing. I let my thoughts wander too far. Whatever path Wolford chooses, they all lead to war. Ready our forces. to leave the city? You couldn't have told us this sooner? I've got a family to worry about. I understand I asked much of you, but a bloody battle is nigh. You must be ready to evacuate if it comes to it. But where is our Lord? Won't he protect us? Lord Saranoa marches toward an even fiercer conflict than what we face here. He left me to protect the people of Wolford in his stead. I ask that you trust in our house and do as I bid. All right then. I suppose we'll start back. Your mastery at matters of war has kept us safe this long. If you say we need to leave, that's what we'll do. You have my thanks. I've one more thing to ask of you. Something I'd like each of you to make. Minister Exham's forces ought to be crossing into Wolfort's domain any moment now. Will it be war, or will they relinquish the salt crystal deposits without resistance? I think we have no cause for worry. Minister Saranoa is one of our saintly seven, after all. Nevertheless, we cannot be certain what he will choose. Whoever controls those salt crystals controls the future of all Morzelia. Knowing that, you truly think he would give them up without a fight? Minister Lila is right. He may very well decide to ally with Asfrost and rise up against us. I made sure Minister Exam understood he may very well be marching to war. Wolfort is a prideful house. If we apply too much pressure on them, they may hold out simply out of principle. Honestly, they are more trouble than they are worth. It almost makes me wish we could turn them and Esfrost against each other. That is something else to consider. We could even promise them the Roselle's freedom, should they triumph over the duchy. A fine proposition. The best outcome would be to have them destroy Esfrost for good. And in doing so, they'd be destroyed themselves. Surely you would not wish for such slaughter. Soft hearts have no place here, Minister Kamsel. We fight- And we must fight to win. Our troops will need Elfric, Minister Lila. See that they have it. 
Of course. I'll see to any final adjustments at the Ministry of Medicine. Concealed aboard Claris's consortium cart, Serenoa and his retinue slip out of the Wolfort Domain past Exham's forces and make for the Hyzantian capital. As soon as they arrive, they review the particulars of their plan to lead the Roselle in revolt. Scouts are reporting the Hyzantian army has crossed into the Wolfort Domain. The force is commanded by Minister Exham, and is many times larger than what they used when we marched on the Crown City. Enough to destroy Castle Wolfort, and then some. They ain't aiming just to scare us. A foe even Benedict would be hard-pressed to prevail against. Have faith, Anna. Benedict will protect our people as he always has. I know. That said, we cannot defend the Domain itself. Our land and our castle will doubtless fall to Exham's forces. Then we must act as if we have no home to return to. We cannot waver in our resolve. No. The time for doubts is long past. Listen well. After we have freed the Roselle from the Source, we will set our sights on their homeland in the south, on Centralia. We will find the Endless Sea and create a land free of suffering. A far-fetched dream if ever there was one, I know. I will not blame any of you if you do not wish to come. <laughs> a bit late for second thoughts now. Aye, we're with you, my lord, wherever you will lead us. Then it's decided. We have much to discuss about our rescue plan. Clarice, if you would. The wagon will have to pass through an inspection at the Goddess's Shield before entering the city. I can throw my consortium weight around to see you safely through the inspection, but that's about all I'm good for. That's more than enough. Thank you. Then let's muscle our way into the source. The guards won't expect an attack from the outside. Getting in is not what worries me. Indeed. The biggest obstacle we face is getting the Roselle to follow us out. They've been treated as criminals under the teachings for so long, they've come to believe they are guilty. They might be too terrified of disobeying the goddess to even agree to rise up. My mother led them in revolt 30 years ago. True, but only a small handful of people escaped. I know. Freeing all of them means we must be even bolder than my mother. Have you thought of how you'll convince them? I have. I... I will smash the statue of the goddess to pieces. If they see her idol destroyed, the fear shackled about their hearts will break. Without terror to hold them back, the uprising of 30 years ago will look tiny in comparison. But that statue is massive. How are you going to reduce it to rubble? I'm going to blow it up. Ah, uh, yes, if we use all the explosives we have, it will come crumbling down. But then we'd have none to destroy the ships that pursue us. Exactly. That's why I think we ought to use Elfric on the ships instead. Elfric? It is more powerful than the explosives. And perfect for blowing up ships. There must be some stored at the Ministry of Medicine, considering Minister Lila's involvement in its creation. But how will we detonate it without Milo? Considering all the research they conducted, there must be some sort of documentation on how to use it. Then what are we waiting for? If Lady Frederica's plan is going to succeed, we better go track some down. All right, then we have our plan. 
my friends. Thank you. I'll handle the guards. Don't move a muscle, any of you. Don't even breathe. Hail! I am Clarus of the Consortium. I bring goods for trade in the city, if you'll give me leave to pass. Clarus! Consortium's working you hard. In these dangerous times, tis a privilege to be in such good employ. But you worked even harder than I. Here, a small token of my appreciation. <laughs> you always have been a thoughtful man. Go on, then. Wait! We cannot allow unscheduled goods into the city without inspection! <sighs> Fine. Guess there's no such thing as being too careful. <sighs> You needn't worry. Minister Kamsel of the Saintly Seven sent for these goods himself. He did? Oh, yes. Look closely and you'll see. What have you done? Ah, you snake! I must call for reinforcements! Clarus, are you all right? My apologies. Luckily, mine was the only face they saw. I will draw off the reinforcements while you make for the Ministry of Medicine. Quickly now. And do not forget to retrieve the explosives you buried in my cargo. I'm sorry we've put you to such trouble. And we'll likely have to blow up consortium ships on top of everything else. Cause as much trouble as you wish. I know you'll repay me for it once this is all over. Hurry. The majority of their forces may be absent, but we're finished if a guard catches sight of us. To the Ministry of Medicine with us. Surprising to find researchers here. Aizant still doesn't know we're moving against them. They shouldn't think us suspicious as long as we walk at a calm pace. We can't go that slowly. Minister Kamsel is in charge of the guards, and he's no pushover. The longer we take, the more we'll lose our freedom of movement. Claris is clever, but he could still get captured. Then we'd best split up. Indeed. We must find the Elfric and quickly.
Lord Saranoa, look at this book. What is it? Did you find it? No, only a book. The Elfric method in practice. Does this detail how it is made? Seems that way. It's littered with arcane terms I can scarcely comprehend. But if I'm grasping this correctly... The main component of Elfric is human remains. It says here, having harvested the corpses of Roselle who perished at the source, Harvesting corpses? For what foul purpose? We did not intend for Elfric to be weaponized. Our original goal was to harness its immense magical capabilities to power the automaton. Automaton? What manner of contraption is that? I do not know, but I doubt it is anything kind or good. I thought the Ministry of Medicine was supposed to, you know, figure out how to save lives. Not how to profit off death. We've glimpsed the rot at Hyzant's core. Minister Saranoa, what are you doing here? Mr. Lila, did you use Rosellan remains to create Elfric? I advise taking more care with your words, Minister Saranoa. You are one of the saintly seven. You have a responsibility to protect Hyzan's secrets. Then it is true. You steal their freedom, their very lives! And you dare to call what you do, healing? Everything I have done was as the Goddess willed. I call myself nothing but her loyal servant. All of us are hers to command. No, not all of us. House Wolfort means to free the Roselle from the Goddess's tyranny. Do you now? As one committed to the preservation of life, you know salt should not be a luxury for the privileged few. Is that not what you told me? Help us. If not for the Roselle, then to change Hyzant for the better. Change Hyzant? How wonderful that would be. Then... No. I cannot help you. The Holy One would have my head for turning traitor. Besides... My hands are far too bloody to ever be washed clean. my best.
These heretics spit in the face of the goddess. They deserve nothing better than utter annihilation. Minister Lila, how can you pretend the teachings are righteous when you know the truth? There is no turning back for me. I am Lila Viscraft, one of Hyzant's saintly seven. In the name of the goddess, I deem your life forfeit. Defeat is not an option. Your orders? I'm ready to do what I must. I won't lose! I shall protect you. Time to take flight. Darkness engulfs you. Rest? I fight for peace. Stay right there! Time for some sorcery! Ready to see it spell. Shall we begin? will help. I gain new strength. Come at me! Are you in need? Hardening my defense! Where shall we strike? Your orders? You will escape. It's for life. You won't catch me. So it's come to blows. My turn. This is where you fall. On my honor as the dawn speak. It ends. Damn it. This battle is ours. Darkness engulfs you! Not oh, um, I will end this. Not an option. Ah! To lead, I must grow. I shall do what I can. I'm behind you. Thank you. So it's come to blows. My time has come. I 
painful, wasn't it? You won't beat me! Look to my shield! Look at me learning. Your orders? Taste two eyes. I am that one well. Allow me two eyes. Taste that one well. A wasted effort. Two obvious. I shall lead by example. Here I come. Is one. Let me show you what I've learned. For victory! I shall protect you. Prepare yourself! Shall we begin? Allow me, thank you. I stand ready. Moving that one well. I've been waiting for this. Time to die! I'm ready to do what I must. Time to work. Suffer. This'll hurt. Let me show you what I've learned. Two ashes. My pride is my shield. When a wolf is cornered. Grandfather. <laughs> That's it. So it's come to blows. You will pay. This is the fruit of wisdom. Lila Viscraft, you have inflicted enough cruelty upon the Roselle. No more. What I did, I did as one of the saintly seven. 
blessed by the Holy One, and thus the Goddess herself. But you wanted to stop it. You knew it was wrong. The heart that beats inside your chest is still human, is it not? Silence! You have no right to speak of what is in my heart. I shall do what I can. Much obliged. One step closer to our hope. Pathetic. This will serve. Come at me! I'll be your shield! My turn. The victory is within reach. Sound strike it's for life. Allow me. I'll lead by example. I do only what I must. I have to keep going. House Wolfort. Death from above. That hit the mark. Shall we begin? Be at ease. I will end this. Your command. Out of my way! <laughs> Give me strength. Come at me! Time to die! I shall lead. Heretic cannot be suffered to live. 
the dawn speed. Shall we begin? Allow me. My wounds are healed. Oh. Time to work. I shall protect you. as I planned. I shall leave. You're back. not but a new thing. I won't lose. You don't stand a chance. This bout is mine. I stand ready. Out of the way! So this is my fate. Or is it divine retribution? I will end this. Sorcery. So 
Don't be afraid. <laughs> Time to work. upon me. I wished to see him just once more. They're good. Be at ease. Ah. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Victory! My last strikes hey, through! Over here! Ugh. My time has come. Try this. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. I've been waiting for this! This battle is ours. You'll get no mercy from us. Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are good. I can keep fighting! I shall protect you. <laughs> that went well! Careful! This won't be easy. Your orders? This is the end. I stand ready. The flames consume you! I'll show you what I can do! Now! Minister Lila had the key to the laboratory. We found the Elfric within. And documents detailing its use. We know how to trigger it now. Then we can destroy both the statue of the goddess and the ships that it give chase. My people suffered so this Elfric could be created. For their sake, we cannot fail. We shan't. I think even Minister Lila, in her heart of hearts, I prayed for our success. So she understood the injustice of it all and sought to aid us. What makes you think that? I imagine circumstances prevented her from acts of outright defiance. Perhaps the Saintly Seven are not so free to act according to their own principles. 
If that's the case, then the so-called equality under the goddess that Hyzant loved to espouse is nothing but hypocrisy. Indeed. There is nothing righteous about a faith that preaches appropriating a person's very death. Let us to the source. The goddess's oppression has gone on long enough. They haven't added more soldiers to the ramparts, meaning they haven't noticed us yet. Claris has them nice and distracted for us, but I don't think we can stay hidden for this next bit. No, the source is heavily guarded inside. Sneaking in to quietly foment rebellion is not an option. We must defeat the guards and convince the Rizal to rise up in a very short amount of time. Before reinforcements arrive to put us down. Frederica, everything rests on your ability to sway them to our side. <sighs> My lady, you're quivering. I know what I will say, what I will do. Whether I will succeed, however, I do not know. And not knowing frightens me. I hate that I'm such a coward. When my mother was so brave. There isn't a person in the world who doesn't fear the future. Not your mother, not the Rosellen, not I. Being brave isn't about being fearless. It's about acting regardless of how terrified you are. We are here because we refuse to let fear rule us. Remember, Frederica, you are not alone. We will see this through together. I needed to hear that, Sheila. Mother, please guide us. Guide me. Saranoa, I am ready. I can do this. I know you can. Come then. The source awaits. After defeating Lila and securing the Elfric, Serenoa and his retinue make for the source to free the Roselle. Meanwhile, Hyzantian forces commanded by Exham arrive at Castle Wolfort's doorstep, intent on claiming the salt crystal deposits for themselves. Refusing to hand over the salt, House Wolfort has barricaded themselves inside with hundreds of soldiers. Their outright defiance makes Exham cautious, suspecting some sort of trap. He opts to surround the castle and prepares for an extended siege. But the Wolfort soldiers don't move an inch. Patience worn thin, Exham orders an attack. His soldiers swarm into the castle. Here. What is the meaning of this? Our scouts didn't see enemy soldiers. Only straw dolls. Minister Exham, the castle is empty. They must have abandoned the castle, told their people to flee. Damn. They twisted our vigilance against us to buy themselves time. But where have they gone to? I cannot say. What are you scheming, Wolfort? Hmm. Well, seize the castle in any case. This domain belongs to Hyzat now. Sir.
After routing Exham with his strange strategy and seeing Wolffort's people safely to Glenbrook's crown city, Benedict disappears. His actions draw Hyzant's full attention entirely to the Wolffort domain, making it easy for Sarah Noah and his retinue to slip into the source. But whether they can convince the Roselle to rebel depends entirely on Frederica. Which way the winds of fate will blow is anyone's guess. Halt! What are you... Goddess, what have you done? Who... who are you? My name is Frederica S. Frost. Daughter of Orlea, the woman who led the Source Rebellion 30 years ago. With me is Lord Saranoa of House Wolfort. My... husband. We have come to liberate you, but we cannot do it without your help. We need you to take a stand and fight by our side. Husband? It's true then, what they say? That you accepted a Roselin as one of your own? Yes, Frederica is my wife. House Wolfort pledges itself to the Roselle's defense. Let us leave this wretched place far behind us. Leave Hyzant? No. We'd only be throwing ourselves upon the soldiers' swords. Our ancestors stained us with sin the moment they tried to hoard salt for themselves. The Goddess will never absolve us unless we dedicate our lives serving her here. Don't keep us from our atonement. It's not like there's anywhere for us to go, even if we fled. There is. My mother told me of the Rosellin homeland. A place far, far to the south, surrounded by a vast expanse of salt water. Centralia. Everything's already in place for your escape. All that we need to succeed is for you to trust us. Centralia? A vast expanse of salt water. It's... it's just a myth. You can't expect us to believe it's real. I knew Lady Olea. You... you do bear her likeness. Uh, she too insisted the Holy State's teachings were a lie that we must break the chains the false goddess bound us with and seek Centralia. Those words sparked rebellion. But only a handful of us managed to escape in the end. Took a bit of the goddess's statue with them. That's all. I was a child at the time, so I don't remember it that well. Still, I doubt you lot will accomplish much more than she did. I understand your hesitation, but nothing will change if we do not take a stand. Do you really want our people to be trapped here forever? Of course not, but... We fear what Hyzant will do to us. No one can defy the Goddess. That's what they have always taught us. <sighs> I understand. It isn't easy to act against generations of oppression and terror. Then we destroy the very thing that represents all they fear. The statue of the goddess. Show them she can be defeated. Best do it soon. I doubt we have much time until Hyzant realizes we're here. None of you move.
I see you have not neglected your training, Hewitt. I must take a moment to catch my breath. You are winded. Good. I often worry that my skill is lacking. I wonder what Roland would think to see us practicing together. He expects much from me. I only hope not to disappoint him. He has become a fine warrior in his own right, has he? Indeed he has. He would have been a worthy successor to King Regna, if only his birth would have allowed it. Doubtless the king would have considered Roland too pure of heart to wear the crown. And is that not a kingly virtue? Or do all rulers require some measure of ruthlessness to keep their people in order? You are closer to the truth than you know. Prince Franny had evidence that his father was turning a blind eye to the illicit dealings of his subjects. What? What dealings? House Telior was peddling watered-down wine and fattening their coffers with a profit. King Regna found out about their scheme, but the timing was unfortunate. It had been an arduous year. The king was loath to risk the loss of taxes. So, he let it pass. I see. And Prince Franny knew of this? Yes, and he was goaded into coercing his own father by Minister Patriot. Perhaps what Prince Franny feared the most was that the king would pass him over and cede the throne to Roland. So he threatened to inform House Falks of King Regna's indiscretion if the king did not guarantee his succession. That's... I... I never knew. Over time, Prince Franny came to realize how he had been manipulated by Minister Patriot. He hated himself for the actions he could not take back, and he envied Roland for his blissful ignorance to it all. Do you think Franny believed Roland to be a better fit for the throne than himself? In his heart of hearts? I do. I have no doubt King Regna did too, when the weight of the schemes and intrigue that plagued his nation weighed most heavily on his shoulders. Perhaps Regna hoped that Roland could succeed where he had failed, and navigate through the deception without compromising his ideals. So that is how it was. I see now why Roland looked up to you like a father. The rot that spread through Glenbrook was not unique. Wheresoever men fight for power and influence, it spreads. But we need not submit to it. If ever there were a group of people that could set this kingdom to rights, it is here. We can rebuild Glenbrook to be more glorious and true than it has ever been. I agree, Sir Maxwell. When the war is over, it will not be strength of arms that will carry us through to the future, but the strength of our words and convictions. My brush with death has allowed me to see this clearly. A path forged by spears and swords will only end in a river of blood. I only pray that peace comes before we are consumed by it. And when it does, may we have the courage to set down our weapons and begin our true fight, to see that we never need pick them up again. Will you stand by my side when the time comes? Shall we build this new world together? Yes, we shall. Effort is rewarded.
Cristo. Princess Cordelia, are you here without so much as a single bodyguard? Yes. Today I have come to speak with my people. Tell me true what troubles you. Oh my... Is that truly Cordelia? What's that ass frosty pawn of a princess doing here? How dare you besmirch her highness's good name! Say that again and you'll... Let them speak their minds, Huet. I'm here to provide, not to punish. Tell me what you need, plainly and honestly. Ugh. Might... Might you spare some porridge? My poor child lies sick, abed, hungry. We have food enough for all. I shall send you some out at once, and a healer to you as well. Fear not. Your child should be back on her feet in due course. Oh, thank you, your highness. All the rumors said she was a traitorous puppet. Yet here she is, being kind and reasonable. She's always been a champion of the people. Your highness, we beg you forgive us our slander. They're no longer quite so restless. During the Esfrosty occupation, I was sealed away inside the castle. I was but an ornament, perched on the castle balcony, unable to speak to you as I do now. It is no wonder you believed as you do. No one stood before you to tell you the truth. Halt! Not one step closer! Esfrost may have been driven off, but now you've sold us to the traitorous house Wolf Forts! Aye! Lord Landroy's blood stains your hands! Our homes burned to the ground in the fighting! We'll take your head before you damn food! Refugees from the Falk's Domain. I accept full responsibility. You have every right to hate me as you do. 
could she possibly owe you lot? Take it up with Esfrost. They're the ones who invaded our kingdom in the first place. The princess has fulfilled her duty. Alone, no less, with King Regna and Prince Franny gone. She put the lives of her subjects above all else. I'll not stand for anyone speaking ill of her highness. Not after she's pledged to save my child. Everyone, please! Brave souls of House Falks, pray hear my words. I understand that you see not in me but the enemy of your beloved Lord Landroy. I make no excuses for myself. Your lord loved this kingdom as much as anyone. Please understand that I love it too. Each and every one of us trod a path paved with pain and sorrow to arrive here today. But we must keep our eyes fixed upon a shared horizon, tempting though it may be to gaze upon the cracks in the path that divide us. I ask only that you keep your heads held high and join me in striving to rebuild Glenbrook to be stronger than ever before. I swear to you that I will give all of myself in service to this kingdom. I will show this with my every action, for I know that my words hold little purchase with you now. Should you feel that I have wronged you in you or lied to you once more, at that time you may have my head. Your Highness, Sounds like you mean it. If you'd go that far, I reckon I can give you one last chance. But mark my words. My blade shall claim you if you renege on what you've said today. May it be so. Most impressive, Your Highness. It would seem your words truly did reach the people's hearts. I can only hope this begins to heal the rift between the people and the royal family. Even if it means speaking to every last one of my subjects in person, I shall see it done. Countless guards killed at the gate, and Minister Lila struck down at her own institution. All you're doing, I presume, Minister Serenoa. I do not deny it. And now, here you are in the source. Any fool could see what you mean to do. Yes, we are here to free the Roselle. You're a reasonable man, Minister Kamsel. You must know there is no reason to enslave these people. Pray let us go in peace. The goddess herself decreed the Roselle must serve here. It is all part of her plan. Then her plan is wrong. The goddess can never be wrong. What is wrong is those who would defy her. It is my duty to see blasphemers brought to justice, not to turn the other cheek while they slink away unpunished. You will pay for your grievous sins, Sarah Noah Wolfort, with your life. your service. As you command. Understood.
The goddess weeps, Minister Serenoa, for you and yours have strayed from her righteous path. If you insist upon defying her, then you must pay for your sins with your life. There's no going back now. We either help the Roselle to freedom, or die trying! Minister Kamsel will fall, and the statue of the goddess soon after. From where shall we strike? My turn. I leave no survivors. My turn. Let me show you what I've learned. Stay right there! I'll show you what I can do! Don't be afraid! Strike while the iron's hot. This is far Watch from over. Rest. Cool heads shall prevail. Go quick. So, it falls to me. Ice wall. I can do this. Stay with us. For the honor of House Wolfort. Shall we? Your orders? Shadows can see me. My turn. This battle is ours. You get victory is ours. I shall do what I can. Make the most of this. That's a big help. I fight for peace.
I leave no survivors. Time to take action. We can do this. Thank you. I'll show you what I can do. Be afraid. I did it. Time for some research. Another approach. For the honor of House Wolfort. On your guard. To lead, I must grow. I won't hold you back. Stay with us. Right. This victory You've left yourself enriched. open. I feel stronger already. Kill the heretics! I fight for peace. Whatever it takes. Shall we strike? Let's go. Stay strong. I'll show you what I can do. Win. Shall we? My turn. Charge! My last, you see that? Shall we? 
I will end this. With the powers in me. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me, you have my gratitude. Time to take action. You're finished! Your orders? of House Wolfort. On your guard. <laughs> My turn now. That's you. much better. I'll show you what I can do. Yeah. 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 Back at you for victory. Rosel toil here to atone for their ancestral sins, as they themselves wish, and as the goddess demands. There! The hunt is on!
threads shall prevail. Allow me. My thanks. Whatever it takes. We can do I this. I can do it. My turn. I shirk from no danger! This battle is ours. Lend me your wings, Ruby! world from where shall we strike your orders shall we begin Thanks. There are always consequences. I see you have decided to follow in Olea's footsteps, Frederica. How do you know my mother's name? You think I could forget the heathen who dared gainsay the goddess's teachings? As your mother was punished for her grievous crimes, so shall you be. Take it from here. Faithfully till the end. Time for some research. I see through you. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. Back. 
I'll do what I can. Much obliged. I've done it. For victory. Let me show you what I've learned. House Wolfort. Now I end this. We oh, mustn't let our guard down. Darkness engulfs you. Ugh. Cool heads shall prevail. I'm behind you. Thank you. I'll take it from here. You're going. This is it. I'll show you what I can do. I can heal too. Appreciate it. To work. Back at you. I leave no survivors. Charge. My last strike's true. I can do this. Eyes are turning. Time to work. Too easy. Try this. I will end this. Fight with you, Wolfort. Forward. Death from above. Here I come. Focus. Yourself open. I will fight to my last breath. Thought I was. I shall oh, hold that I see you. Ah. No, I was so close. Withdraw, Frederica. I will see that we prevail. I shall do what I can. That's much better. One step closer to our hope. Now then, to work. A cold wind blows to further the arcane arts. 
Time to take action. My turn. This isn't good. I'm here for you. Forward. Now I am. Here I come. You'll get no mercy from us. I shall do what I can. Allow me. My apologies. Time to work. So, it falls to me. Strike while the iron's hot. Shall we strike? Ah! That hit the mark. This battle is ours. From this range. Where was I? A cold wind blows. Time to work. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. My apologies. I'll take it from here. This shall be a boon. My turn. Get here. Let's go. I must do my duty. Time to work. Tech. Victory is within reach. Try this. Where shall we strike? Now I am. Time to take flight. I won't miss. Time for some research. I see through you. I shall do what I can. 
Be at ease. You have my thanks. Time to take action. Let's do this. This shall be a boon. For victory! I'll show you what I can do! I can heal too! I needed that! Time to work. This is the end. I can do this! I'm here for you! You have my thanks. Forward! Time to take flight! You'll get no mercy from us! Where was I? I see through you! They defeated one of the saintly seven. They did all that too. To free us? Can we really leave? No one's going anywhere! You defy the goddess, you die! Ah! Not while I still stand. Ah! Frederica! Are you all right? I'm fine. It's only a scratch. But we have to plant the explosives on the statue while we still can. Leave it to us. Lady Frederica. Why are you doing all this for us? Because you do not deserve to be treated like this. But our people are sinners. We coveted salt, and in doing so, plunged Norzelia into an age of blood and chaos. No, that is a lie concocted by the goddess's teachings. My mother left me records of the truth. Our ancestors came to Norzelia to stop the ceaseless wars to control the source, to save its people. They excavated a giant pillar of salt from beneath the very earth, with the intention of dividing it equally among all. They were wise, and compassionate, and selfless. Then... we have nothing to atone for? Truly? Nothing. You are free of sin. You are free? Your mother, Lady Ornea, kept our people's history. If you say this thing is true, then it is true. But it is also true that Isand will never allow us to be free. We know. That's why we want to take you somewhere else. Somewhere Isand holds no power. Your people's homeland, Centralia. Together, I'm certain we will reach it. The explosives are set! There is nothing left to fear, and I shall prove it to you. The statue! You blew her up! Oh, Lady Orlea. Your dream has finally come true. Look, the goddess that ruled you is nothing but a pile of rubble. 
And even if the goddess did exist, she would never force people to live like this. Everyone has the right to choose their own path based on their own convictions. That is what it means to be alive, to be human. To be human. Rise up. Come with us to Centralia. I'm going. I'm going with Lady Frederica. As am I. What is there left to fear? You're right. If there's somewhere we belong out there, somewhere we can be free, we have to find it. To our homeland. To Centralia! Everyone make for the harbor. We'll sail down the river and then... all the way south. How did you fare at the harbor, Eridor? Just fine, my lord. Got the Roselle safely boarded on our commandeered vessel, and set Elfric upon the rest of the ships. Perfect. You did a fine job rallying the Roselle, Lady Frederica. Well done. We aren't done quite yet. Not until we are all safe upon Centralia's shore. True, but we've overcome a major hurdle. That is something to be proud of. I'm sure Lady Orlea would say the same. Thank you, Gila. Your words touched me too, Frederica. Truly. I am proud to fight for the Roselle's freedom and for their future. I could not have done this without you. Thank you. You needn't thank me. What sort of husband would I be if I did not do everything in my power to aid my wife? Saranoa! Forgive me. I should not have called you husband when we are not yet wed. I... I only hoped it would help the Roselle trust me. Don't apologize. I liked the way it sounded. If anything, I should be the one making amends to you. I've given you no wedding, not even a ring. What need have I of either? Though... There is something I wish to give you, if you'll have it. Your mother's pendant, but it is so precious to you. That is why I wish you to have it. I will treasure it always. I promise you, whatever happens, I will never regret choosing this path. Nor will I, my love. Come, we must make haste for the harbor. Once we reach the Great Falls at Norzelia's southern tip, we will be safe. Frederica, Saranoa, and the others help the Roselle break out of the Source and flee Hyzant by ship. Behind them, the harbor is engulfed in violet flames when the Elfric explodes, destroying the remaining vessels and any chance the Hyzantians had at pursuing them. They sail down the Nozelia River, heading for the Great Falls deep in the Falk's Domain. From there, they will journey south in search of the Roselle's ancestral homeland, Centralia. Minister Edor, the Roselle have revolted. I am aware. I hear they destroyed the statue of the goddess. 
House Wallfort's doing. They've stolen a ship and fled the capital. Minister Exham is embroiled in battle with the S. Frosty near the Glenbrook border. I cannot reach either Minister Lila or Minister Camsell. There's nothing we can do to... I shall go after them. The Wolforts and the Roselle have made a mockery of our goddess. Such blasphemy cannot go unpunished. But we've no ships, and you'll never catch them if you go over land. Perhaps not with an ordinary horse. But they will not escape. They are about to witness the true might of the goddess. I await your orders. The Great Falls. The southernmost tip of all Norzelia. We still have a ways to go until we reach Centralia. But once we pass the falls, we pass out of any pursuer's reach. Lord Saranoa, Lady Frederica. Jerome! You came! Of course we did. We wish to accompany you. To secure our people's future. And to repay you for all House Wolford has done for us. Thank you, Jerome. And we've brought your wedding gown, Lady Frederica. It's all ready. You didn't! <laughs> Splendid! We'll hold you the finest wedding Centralia has ever seen. That is as far as you go. Hedor! Impossible! How did you catch up to us? <laughs> Nothing is impossible for one blessed by the goddess. The horse. <laughs> Experimental prototypes never do last long. Still, it is enough to see you filthy heretics destroyed. Lila did well to leave it behind. Is that... The automaton she created. Ah, so you knew of it. 
then you'll know it commands the very power of the goddess. Her power is beyond what the human intellect can possibly understand. You cannot hope to defy a divine being like that. Watch us. We will go where even she cannot reach. Yes, I heard. You seek the Rosellen homeland, hmm? Bold of you to assume such a place actually exists. No one has ever set foot on the land beyond these falls. Those who have tried found nothing but a brutal death in an empty wilderness. Even if there is somewhere hospitable out there, there is no guarantee you will survive long enough to see it. I... You do not deny it. <laughs> see, Roselle? See how she has deceived you? Kill them, and return to the Goddess. Correct your mistakes, and she will show you mercy. She can take her mercy and stuff it! We're going with Lady Frederica. End of story! Nothing at the source for us but suffering and death anyhow. If I'm going to suffer and die, I'm going to do it looking for my homeland. We've had enough of letting the goddess dictate our lives. We choose our own path now. And that is something we will never regret. There you have it, Edor. Very well. If death is what you fools prefer, death is what I will give you. Jerome, we'll hold him here. Get your people across the bridge. All right. Everyone, follow me! To battle with pleasure. You got it. I... I'll do my best. Quickly, help the Roselle cross to the opposite bank. House Wolfort, we must be their shield. Let Edor's forces gain no ground. Hear me, pious faithful. You owe your lives to the Holy One. Repay that benevolence with Wolfort's demise. Show them what fate awaits heretics and blasphemers. From where shall we strike? I will end this.
The road home is just ahead. Come on, everyone, hurry! Head them off! Don't let the Roselle escape! Your end is... For victory! Leave everything to me. Gotta take it on the chin. I'm old, not a pushover. comes to battle. This is my way of doing things. There's more yet to learn. I will end this. I'll take it from here. Heads shall prevail. Make the most of it. Now this is something. So it falls to me. Defeat is not an option. Your end is not the Holy One awaits. I won't lose. Allow me. Now then, to work. The hunt is on.
Come on, then. So it comes to battle. Work. I really feel like I've grown. Time to take action. We can do this. This shall be a boon. Soon, we'll be in a place free of the teachings. Cool heads shall prevail. Go swift. This feels promising. For the honor of House Wolfort. The goddess. I am here. I will end this. Allow me. Here I come. Darkness engulfs you. So it comes to battle. Please work. There's more yet to learn. Time for some research. Another approach. Your end is not. This is the goddess's blessing. Whatever it takes. We can do that. That certainly helps. Defeat is not an option. I shall do what I can. Make the most of this. That's a big help. I will end this. I will leave you defenseless.
There shall be no mercy. Feisty, aren't we? Gotta take it on the chin. Well, congratulations are in order. I'll give it my best. Please work. The flames consume you. We will make our ideals this reality. Is so good. to take action. I've got this. Allow me! An honor and a privilege to serve. Now then, to work. Let me cause some trouble to further the arcane arts. Time to work. I shall do what I can. For one and all. Thank you. For the honor of House Wolfort. Death from above. We're not done here. Goddess seeds. Consider this divine retribution. Swallow them whole! Bit of a bind, this. This should do it. I'm old, not a pushover. My turn.
Lend me your wings, Kirby! The goddess sees whatever it takes. I will do what I, I shall can. do my best. Shall we strike? Death from above! I shall do what I can. Allow me. I say to Your end is nigh. It's time. Please work. I need a healer. You won't catch me. I will end this. I'll take it from here. Another approach. Forward. Ha! To lead, I must grow. I shall do what I can. Come on. 
Come on, then. Gotta take it on the chin. Thank I feel you. like I can do anything. Your end is no oh, goddess. I will end this. I'll give it my best. I got it. Charge. Strike while the iron's hot. We can do that this. certainly helps. This battle is ours. This ends now. Forward. Ah. That hit the mark. So, it falls to me. Cool heads shall prevail. Victory goes to the quick. This is wonderful. Your end is nigh. Die! Leave everything to me. Do my best. Ah! My turn. This is where you see that for my kingdom. I'm impressed. So it comes to battle. This is my way of doing things. There's more yet to learn. The flames consume you. I'll take it from here. So, it falls to me. Ice wall! Time to take flight! From this range, my pride is my shield. The goddess, the holy one, awaits! For the honor of House Wolfort.
This ends here! Close. Back at me! I shall do what I can. Be at ease. My growth is plain to see. My turn. Leave everything to me. That was close. That was close. So it comes to battle. Work. For victory. You don't stand up. You left yourself open. I fight for peace. Flames, heed my call. There shall be no. Strike while the iron's hot. Time for some research. Ice wall! Impressed? Yeah. My turn. Heal your wounds. Go quick. Uh -huh. Come on, then. Gotta take it on the skin. Well, congratulations are in order. Thank you, all of you. The Goddess Sea. Hey, yeah. Yeah. The situation is grim.
I'll hold fast Better here. take advantage. Here I come. We're not done here! shall prevail. Be at ease. Come on, then. What are you and your Thanks. cups about? Well, congratulations are in order. Forward! Let me show you what I've learned. Charge! Away with you! It's time. Got it! We have faith in you. Do not let any more Roselle escape. The God I am here! This battle is ours. My turn. I'll take it from here. We can do just this. what I need. Time for some research. Another approach. shall prevail. Make the most of this. Leave everything to me. Defeat is not an option. Death from above! That hit the mark. I fight for peace. Time to work. Your end is nigh. Swallow them whole! What do I do? This is my way of doing things. Charge! Here I come. Range. Strike while the iron's hot. So, it falls to me. Let me cause some trouble. My apologies. Let me heal your wounds. Be at ease. What a relief. 
feisty, aren't we? Gotta take it on the chin. Your orders? Let me show you what I've learned. Your end is not. I shall put an end to this heresy! What would father do? My turn! I'll give it my best. Got it! Strike while the iron's hot. Let's do this! I'm going for it. This battle is ours. Be no mercy. I will end this. Let me heal your wounds. Be at ease. The tides are turning. Leave everything to me. Forward! I'll be of whatever service I can. Come on, then. Gotta take it on the chin. We'll go ahead. Your goal. I will end this. Must I? Please work. Your end is nigh. Time for some research. Time to take flight. Another step! I'll take it from here. Let me heal your wounds. Be at ease. I'm safe. Forward! 
Your end is nigh. Ah! This won't be easy. This is where you see that? Leave everything to me. Time to work. Into the shadows. Sorry to worry you. doing things. There's more yet to learn. I'll take it from here. Come on! I will follow you faithfully till the end. Here I come. I won't miss! Where shall we strike? Now I end this. Your end is... This is the goddess's blessing. Let me heal your wounds. For one and all. Thank you. The flames consume you. I feel stronger already. Shadows can see me. Come on, then. I won't lose. Be gone. For the goddess. Now then, to work. Work. Time to take action. You've got this, splendid. The hunt is on. There shall be no mercy. I will end this. For the honor of House Wolfort. I shall do what I can. Be at ease. I'm safe. Leave everything to me. I won't lose. Where you fall. Your end is nigh. Hey, yeah. Time for some research. I must remain calm. Please work. The hunt is on. Time to take action.
Let me show you what I've learned. Time to work. shall prevail. Victory goes to the quick. Our victory is assured. My turn. Brace yourself! This shall be... I shall put an end to this heresy! So... Falls to me. This is everything I've got. A waste of effort. Time to take flight. Take aim. This battle is won. I'll take it from here. Isam's prosperity is built upon a foundation of lies. You think that is justice? Justice? A meaningless word. One can only prosper when one obeys the goddess and her teachings. I shall not allow outsiders to make a mockery of our history and traditions. I've got ah! this. I will end this. comes to battle. This is my way of doing things. Let me show you what I've learned. Blaine, heed my call for a better world. Defeat is not an option. This <laughs> Aha! Your end is nigh. Die! <laughs> You should be ashamed of yourself, Frederica, seducing these poor people to follow a path that leads to naught but ruin. They have chosen hope. Hope that their future holds something beyond the endless suffering they've endured as Hyzant's scapegoats. One's joy is guaranteed so long as one obeys the goddess in all things. You have cast that aside. How dare you call what you've put them through joy? Oh, but it is. What greater happiness can there be but cleansing oneself of sin? Now it's my turn. No slogging Much off! Better. I won't lose! Brace yourself! Oh! Yes! I shall do what I can. Allow me. You're a lifesaver. Time for some research. Too obvious. This battle is ours. You're open. I fight for peace. We have revealed the teachings for the falsehoods that they are. It is past time you pay for what you've done, Edor. Or lay a spawn. That entire line seems determined to stand in my way. I am determined to finish what my mother started and lead the Roselle to freedom. Ah! 
Time to take action. It's time. For the honor of House Wolfort. Suffer the wrath of the goddess! We did it! We did it! Centralia awaits! Cross. Then let us follow. Lower the bridge. You shall not escape. Violet flames. No. You will never escape. The goddess must be perfect. The history of the Roselle must remain buried. I have spent too long building the teachings to let filth like you tear it all down. Let us die together. Noah! I'll save you! Stay back! Igor has Elfric! It'll go off any second! <laughs> you are an astute one, aren't you? This was created to give life to our Holy One. But it has power enough to reduce this whole place to so much ash. You brought the goddess's wrath upon you. Now, I will see you burn! No! Retreat, all of you! I'll keep it contained! No! No, you can't! Go, my lord! I'll take your place! Stay back! There's no time! Roland, get them away from here! Far away! Damn you! You heard the man! Run! No, no, Saranoa! Saranoa! Fool! What did you think you would gain, martyring yourself? See how quickly your friends abandon you? I think they've abandoned me. Where they go, they take with them my heart, my love, and everything I am. But I don't expect a tyrannical goddess to understand what it means to be family.
any luck? None whatsoever. My lady, I am loath to say it, but we cannot search forever. Please, please, j just a few more minutes. No. I couldn't... I couldn't protect him. If only we'd been stronger. I'm so sorry. This never would have happened if you hadn't tried to help us. I promise you, whatever happens, I will never regret choosing this path. Nor will I, my love. No one is to blame. No one forced us to do this. We chose. Speaking one's mind, acting accordingly, and accepting responsibility. That is our house's way, is it not, Eridor? Right you are, my lady. That's what it means to be a Wolfort. This is but the first step of our journey. Come, my friends, we have further to go. Let me make good on the promises I have made to you. And to my husband. Lady Frederica. We're with you to the end. Let's go. All of us. To Centralia. And so, House Wolfort and the Roselle disappear, never to be seen on Orzellian soil again. The realm they leave behind soon crumbles into chaos. With the statue of the goddess destroyed, and most of their saintly seven killed, Hyzant's faithful splinter. Violent feuds spark between the various factions as they vie for dominance of a broken land. In Esfrost, Lord Svarog conspires with the surviving Glenbrook nobles to lead an uprising against Archduke Gustadolf, plunging the duchy into civil war. It is an endless cycle of bloodshed, alliances forged and broken, and betrayal. In time, the various powers, having long since abandoned their ideals, fight only for survival. The source and the crystal deposits change hands too many times to count. This violent chapter of Norzelian history would come to be known as the era of salt and blood. So Svarog seeks to avenge his son's murder by attacking the capital, does he? Uh,
the lengths the parent will go for their child. Archduke, we've taken enemy cannon fire. Gutsy bastard. Lend me a soldier or two, Archduke. We'll smash that cannon to pieces before they fire it again. No need to be reckless. The device is incomplete. Its aim is poor at best. But, but, sir, our troops are rattled. We must do something. I already have. Isn't that right, Benedict? Indeed, the old Glenbrook nobles aiding Sparag have been dealt with. He'll have a knife in his back soon enough. That can't be all. Our dear Exham let slip an interesting observation. That, with Glenbrook deserted, now would be an opportune time to cut out the rot. Meaning you plan to destroy all our enemies in one go of it. Yes, other measures to crush what remains of Hyzant are also progressing apace. <laughs> How efficient. Now, about what you've promised. I haven't forgotten. Once I control Norzelia, the former Wolfort domain will be yours. Including, of course, the people you care so deeply. I shall hold you to that vow. Not a man to be trifled with, old Benedict. With all due respect, sir, but isn't it dangerous to give territory to a man like that? Not in the least. He lives for oaths he made in the past. Nothing more. He hasn't the ambition nor the means to supplant me. But such genius shouldn't be allowed to go to waste. He is a perfect tool, one I shall make good use of. Another day of calm seas. The water is so pretty, like a giant mirror for the sky. Thank you, Lady Frederica. Hmm? What for? I just love the sea so much. My mother told me what happened when I was a baby. She said we wouldn't be here in Centralia if it weren't for you. So thanks. Thanks for bringing me to the sea. It... It was my pleasure. Oh, what a pretty pendant! It looks like treasure! That's because it is. It's a keepsake from my mother. Insider memories of her. of someone I once loved very, very much. <laughs> 